huge top Clinton uh, campaign operative and Attorney General Lynch reportedly exchanged highly classified material during election by Jim Hoff for the GatewayPundit.com. Inspector General Michael Horowitz and FBI Chief Chris Wray testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee on Monday afternoon. During the testimony, I.G. Horowitz admitted that top-level Clinton 2016 campaign operative Amanda Renteria and Attorney General Loretta Lynch exchanged highly classified material with each other in 2016. The highly classified material was so secret that Inspector General Michael Horowitz refused to talk about it during the Senate hearing on Monday. Senator Kennedy, your index does it contain or discuss an email that refers to a conversation allegedly between Attorney General Lynch and a person by the name of Amanda Renteria? Inspector General uh, Horowitz, uh, I'm not sure I can say uh, what I can say about that publicly, so I would ask you if I can get back to you. That's, uh, that's one of the interviews I put up, and uh, I was l uh, looking into this, uh, and I found this article here. Via Joe Palmer, okay. Joe Palmer, overlooked today, top-level Clinton 2016 campaign operative and Attorney General Lynch were in communication with each other in 2016 and exchanging highly classified material that not even Horowitz can talk about. This is the one I put up where, uh, where Kennedy is uh, asking him a question, and he mentioned that uh, Renteria name. And um, it cut off, and this is the other part of it. Amanda Renteria uh, worked for the United States Senators Dianne Feinstein and Debbie Stabenow. She was hired as the Hillary campaign's Hispanic women, woman uh, position on the campaign. Update, Amanda Ron, uh, Renteria uh, has denied these allegations for the past year. Okay, Amanda Renteria was employed by Xavier Becerra, who was also in charge of the House Democratic Caucus, whose server the Awan brothers stole info from. So you can just imagine former Attorney General Lynch assured the political director of Clinton's campaign, Amanda Renteria, she wouldn't let FBI agents go too far in probing the former Secretary of State, you see? So, and this goes back to the Awan brothers. And this idiot, Horowitz, could care less that they already, uh, other people have the classified info already. They've sold it, sold us out, and yet, but we can't talk about it. Horowitz can't say what was in it. Everybody knows, the crooks already know what's in it. They have the information they need. Let's take a listen. Sign index. Yes. Does it contain or discuss an email that refers to a conversation allegedly between Attorney General Lynch and uh, a, a person by the name of Amanda Renteria? I'm not sure what I can say about that publicly, given it's given the matter's classified. Um, so I would ask you if um, I can get back to you on that. I'm hesitant to say anything about in the public forum about that. Would you allow our, our chairman and our ranking member to see the classified index? Oh, absolutely. In fact, what we are trying to do, Senator, is um, what ended up happening is because of the nature of the information, it was classified at such a high level by the intelligence community. We don't make that decision by the intelligence community that it limited even the members who can see it, as well as the staffs. And what we're doing right now is, and I um, asked the Deputy Attorney General's office to help facilitate this, is to go back to the intelligence community and let us know how we can address whatever caused this to be classified at that high level so that we can make sure that we can write it at a level and get it to the members, including the as to the question.
question you raise promptly and they told us they are doing that we very much want the committee to see this information sure you do sure you do sure you do you want everybody to see this yeah give us a break Horowitz where are the arrests already the Iwan brothers have infiltrated Congress they have all the top le high level security uh, info and and yet the Congress doesn't <laughs> I mean, really, what a what a joke! What a joke this all is. Nobody raided their computers. Computers, the, the laptops go missing. You know, I mean, like the Democrats are, are, are running rampant in this country, and yet they're allowed to walk free. You know, without any ramifications. Uh, it's taking forever to get subpoenas out. They don't show up to the hearings. It's no problem. I mean, what is what is this? This is a banana republic. That that bottom line. Uh, and if Trump hadn't gotten into office, boy, this country would have been uh, down the down the river had Trump not gotten in. Because all this is uh, coming out because of the backlash that uh, came uh, against Trump. Had they just left it alone, they could have continued their criminality, their criminal uh, proceedings real well. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.